Hello everyone. Today our grammar lesson is about simple and compound sentences. First of all, we all know that in each sentence we have a subject and a predicate. For example, Mary plays tennis. Mary is the subject, plays tennis is the predicate. We shouldn't forget that we always have to look for the verb and draw a slash before the verb to separate the subject from the predicate. A simple sentence has one subject and one predicate. We went to San Juan yesterday. We is the simple subject and the complete subject at the same time because we draw the slash before went, which is the verb. And all what comes after the slash is the complete predicate, which is went to San Juan. Mary plays tennis. Mary is the subject. Plays tennis is the predicate. One subject plus one predicate make a simple sentence. Tom and Mary play tennis. Play is the verb, so we draw a slash before play. So Tom and Mary is the complete subject. But here, we don't have one simple subject. We have two, Tom and Mary. Because we have two simple subjects, they make a compound subject. We call it compound subject. Now, when we have two verbs in the predicate, they make a compound predicate. Play, swim. Tom and Mary play tennis. The verb is play. We draw a slash before play. Where is the complete subject? Tom and Mary. How many simple subjects do we have? We have two, Tom, Mary. So this makes a compound subject. Tom and Mary play tennis and swim. Where is the verb? Play. Of course, I look for the first verb. Play. I draw a slash before play. Tom and Mary is the complete subject, and it's a compound subject because we have two simple subjects. It joined with and. Let's now look at the complete predicate. We have play, tennis, and swim. We have two verbs. Two actions. So this makes a compound predicate. A compound sentence has more than one part that can stand alone, which is two or more independent clauses. The independent clause is a part that can stand alone. Okay, so this is when I join two complete sentences or two independent clauses together by a coordinating conjunction. And when I say coordinating conjunction, it means and, but, or, for, nor, yet, so. We went to San Juan is a complete sentence. And, which is the conjunction, most of us danced all night. Also, most of us danced all night is a complete sentence. Since I joined these two complete sentences with a comma and a conjunction, this makes it a compound sentence. A compound sentence. We went to San Juan. This is a complete sentence. It's a complete simple sentence. I bring another complete sentence. Most of us danced all night and I joined them with a comma and a conjunction and coordinating conjunction and. They make a compound sentence now. How to make a compound sentence? A subject plus a predicate and another sentence which includes a subject plus a predicate joined with a conjunction, either and or another conjunction. Tom swims and Mary plays tennis. Tom swims is a complete sentence. Mary plays tennis is another complete sentence. We joined these two complete sentences together with the conjunction and, and they made a compound sentence. Now the conjunctions that make a compound sentence are for and nor, but, or, yet, so. Or we can simply summarize them with the word fan, boys. Tom swims and Mary plays tennis. Tom swims is the first complete sentence or independent clause. Mary plays tennis is another complete sentence or independent clause. We joined them together with a conjunction and preceded by a comma. This makes a compound sentence. Tom swims and Mary plays tennis. Don't forget the comma, please. This is the most.